My name is TJ, TJ Usian. I'm uh, currently a student at Berkeley College of Music and I make, uh, I make mobile apps and whatnot. How do you feel about how the conference has gone so far? Do you have any new ideas about the DPI and basic Uh Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been interesting mostly because at first uh, a fair amount of it was, was sort of logistics in terms of uh, finances and stuff like that, but the beta sprints really put everything in perspective in terms of what, what's been done and, and the kind of work that they're trying to get done. Um, so the fact that they're, that it's, it's not really one project or one, um, one architecture or anything is, is actually really interesting. And it, it's really interesting to see how well and, and what the plan is for actually bringing every single thing together you know, to sort of become the DPLA. Um, I mean, it, 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 there should actually be, probably be a lot of um, figuring out who's going to work on on over on the overarching like guidance and development of it. Like, you know, not so much the money or the you know time, you know, but really like the code and and figuring out what the overarching logic of it will be programmatically. Like, because that that's going to be the the interesting thing that that sort of makes it stand up or fall down I, in my opinion because I mean the the heart of it is there you know like you know what what we would like to do and sort of the general direction to move in but then sort of how to do it and and what are the best choices and what isn't important in the beginning and what you know really really is that's in my opinion really going to be what what puts it puts it in the right direction or or holds it back I mean, they, actually, most of them were, were real promising. They were they were they were good because they were specialized. You know, like they had some unique need that they wanted to fill, and they all did it pretty well. Some of them so much so that I didn't have much to contribute in terms of you know what, where I thought you know like government documents. I'm like that's interesting, but I don't care so much. Um, but uh, library cloud was was real good the um bookworm was was real interesting especially because it was done well enough that there was really wasn't much to ask like there really wasn't much you know to say like well why would you do this or how are you going to do that like it was done it was you know and it it was effective and what's your vision for the like, what your ideal the like? i mean and and actually accessible from multiple devices in many ways uh framework you know, kind of in the direction that they're going in, but but very much a, a, a means to unify. Like, if I wanted to make a make a mobile app that allowed users to, you know, to access the DPLA's resources, you know, like any anything, not not a specific collection or whatever, you know, bringing down a lot of the barriers that that actually would stop someone from developing an app that would do that. Like, that's what I think the DPLA is or should be. You know. Um, I mean, it can be a, its own site, but but it would be really powerful if it if it became something that you know many people could could use in specific ways, because that's where you're going to get the most traction in terms of you know in in terms of tailoring experiences you know for the eight year old kid and the the you know academic.